Hi, it's Mark Cook for Kit Planes. It's a pretty exciting day. Been waiting for a while. This bad boy is a crate that came from Fairhope, Alabama. I hope there's an engine in it. Let's check it out. Kind of amazing that all it holds it together are these little pins. Ah, oh, there it is. Wrapped in plastic, just like Laura Palmer's body. I wish you could smell that. It smells like new engine. It looks like art. Obviously, coming from Alabama, there's a pretty big, sizable size of desiccant in there. Here, you can have that for your closet. Uh, so IO340, uh, big upgrade from the O320 that's on uh, the glass star right now. Uh, the 340, if you're not familiar with, is actually a, a longer stroke version of the 320. It's physically the same size, so the cylinder heads are in the same place. Exhaust system should change over. I am upgrading from a uh, carburetor to fuel injection, so that's a little more work on the installation. While I've been waiting for the engine, I've been putting in the work on doing uh, the installation of a boost pump as well as a larger oil cooler. So all that's going to be in the service of a, a bigger, more powerful engine. And uh, gosh, I can't wait to get this off of here and get it onto the glass star. And in case you're wondering, I am going with magnetos on this particular build. Now there actually is a good reason for that, um, primarily because I want to get some baseline numbers with this engine on this airframe. I have a lot of good baseline data with the 320, the O320 on the airplane. And I wanted to do that before I put on electronic ignition to see if I can get some before and after. Um, I'll also be sticking with the Sensonic uh, ground adjustable ca carbon fiber prop. Um, I've actually had the adapter, the uh, Sabre adapter modified because this has a bigger prop hub and uh, lots of little things that go into making this engine work. But God, it's beautiful and I can't wait to get it on the airplane. Let's go!